crowd right now. Bernie Sanders holds a very narrow lead in many polls, with Pete Buttigieg a close second and Amy Klobuchar making a late run at the top four. WBZ's Paul Burton spent the day in New Hampshire. From Concord, Elizabeth Warren! To Nashua. We need to bring new voices to Washington, D.C. Plymouth. We won the popular vote in Iowa by 6,000 votes. And Hampton. It's really good to be back in the grand state. I've been here for a little bit. Democratic presidential candidates put on their best get-out-the-vote smiles, speeches, and handshakes in New Hampshire. We need to start getting Washington to look a little more like our best-run cities and towns instead of the other way around. In Hampton, New Hampshire, former Vice President Joe Biden congratulated Senator Bernie Sanders and Mayor Pete Buttigieg on their victories in Iowa, but told voters the race is far from over. They did a great job, and they were really well organized, better organized than we were in Iowa. I viewed from the beginning that you have to take the first four as one. Meanwhile, Senator Amy Klobuchar was busy shaking hands with voters at a diner in Concord. On Sunday, Senator Warren held a rally here in Concord. She spent most of her time talking about education, climate change, and the economy. With the New Hampshire primary just two days away, she said she plans to canvass the state, trying to drum up as many undecided voters as possible. I didn't start by doing polls a year ago, and I still don't do polls. For me, it's about having a chance to get out and talk to people. It's about having a chance to do a town hall. Are you a decided voter or undecided? I was. I came into this today not quite sure, and I am now decided. Elizabeth Warren is the right person for us right now. On Tuesday, voters will have their say as to who may be best fit to get the Democratic nomination. In Concord, New Hampshire, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.